So you've recorded a few instruments and you get a sort of muddy sound, not much definition out of instruments that produce low end such as a bass drum on a drum set or your bass guitar or the guitar itself. Today I'm going to show you some techniques on how to clear up that muddy sound. So the first thing I'll do is play a little bit of this song that we recorded uh, just to give you an idea what it sounds like with no effects or equalizing or anything like that. It doesn't sound bad. However, it could use some cleaning up. So what I'm going to do is solo the, the kick drum on the drum set. We'll take a listen to that. Now that's very muddy sounding just on its own. And then I'm going to also solo the bass and the guitar. So it's fairly muddy sounding, nothing is very defined, uh, especially the bass guitar where, where the bass guitar needs to be able to define what the low end is in the song. Um, what I hear is the guitar and the kick drum putting out frequencies that are kind of uh, stepping on the bass guitar, not allowing it to do its job. So let's fix up that kick drum first. I'm going to loop a section. Pull out the Acoustica Equalizer and try to pull out some of those frequencies that sound like mud. Also give it a little more definition with the high end. Um, adding some high end to a bass drum gives it uh, what we call a click and it allows uh, a high end click to accompany the low end thump which to the human ear is much more defined. Okay, we'll take a listen to it with and without the equalizer. That should help clear it up a little bit. Now I'll go down and solo just the guitar. And pull out the equalizer. See what the guitar sounds like. Okay, the guitar does have low end in it uh, that I don't want in there because it's going to clash with my bass guitar. The first thing I'll do is pull out these sub lows because guitars don't put out 32 hertz, and if they do, they shouldn't be. Um, 63 is going to be a bass or bass drum frequency. You're not going to want that. So let's play with the uh, the other lower end frequencies here. And that's a little better. Let's hear it with and without the equalizer. It 
it may be a subtle difference, but it, it does make a huge difference when you are mixing instruments all together into a uh, single stereo file. And now we'll solo the bass guitar and pull out the equalizer. See what kind of tone we have. It's a pretty nice sounding bass, um, but we're going to want some more low end on it to, uh, to lead the low end of the song. Okay, that sounds pretty decent. Now that we've separated the uh, frequencies and uh, each instrument is, is sort of using its own set of frequencies, there should be a, uh, a decent separation and sound. So let's have a listen. We'll unloop that. nice separation. Of course there are many other things that you would want to do before calling this project done. Compression, effects like reverbs and delays, whatever you may want on your guitars and your your drums and also mastering effects, but this tutorial was mainly to cover how to separate instruments using an equalizer and uh, get rid of some of that muddy sound. Thanks for watching.